Good morning, brothers and sisters. I come to you this morning from the, the nerve center of Epiphany Church right here in our office. Um, I hope that by now you have had an opportunity to view the stewardship video that we have on our Facebook page, on our website. Uh, in fact, I emailed it out yesterday to a lot of folks. This really came out of the concept of asking people what it is they loved about Epiphany and the response is, well, they were great. And I recommend the video to you. I hope you have a chance to take a look at it. But I also wanted to do some live stuff as well. And so this morning, I am joined by our good friends, Jim and Judy Kern, and I'm gonna ask them the same questions that we ask the folks for the video, and we'll just have a little conversation about this. So let's, let's welcome Jim and Judy. Hey guys. Good morning. Good morning. I am so appreciative that you came here and are willing to have a conversation with me today. Um, this is gonna be really easy because there's nobody paying any attention to this. It's just a little conversation between the three of us, okay? And just 182 people, but that's okay. That's okay. They all know you and they all love you and that's, that's kind of how this works. Let me ask you, what, what is most important to you about Epiphany? Oh gosh, Epiphany is family. Um, and not in the bloodline sense of family, but all the factors are there. You are loved, you are respected, you are comforted, you are encouraged. All of that is part of Epiphany. Mm. That's most important to me, those relationships. I agree, I mean, it's pretty simple. <laughs> we come because we enjoy it, and people here seem to care about everybody, which is important to us, especially in today's world. I mean, I, I think you can come to to the church and have differing uh, political views or other views, and nobody hates you because of it. Mm. And that's pretty important today with some of the issues we're facing. Yeah, especially in today's world yeah. where civility is a challenge. Um, it sounds like what you're saying is that's not a challenge here. I, I don't feel it is. I think we can, we can yeah. dis disagree with each other here, and you still walk away friends. Yeah. It used to be that way elsewhere, but you know, not so much anymore. I think everyone is encouraged here and, and supported, no matter what their political Equally. beliefs, um, sexuality, whatever. They're all supported and loved, and that's really important. We tried to do that from the beginning. We wanted a, a church where all generations could mix because many of us are retired and don't have young families around. And we wanted that interaction as well as with all sorts of people. Mm -hmm. So we're all welcomed and yeah. loved. <laughs> I think too that- uh, And educated. That everybody is equal here. And I don't think you see that other places. There are hierarchies and I don't feel that that's the case here. Not at all, no. That's good. And you were just telling me before we started that uh, you guys really are some of the founders of this congregation. Judy's. Judy, yeah. Judy was the first senior warden. Right. We had four, five, or six people come in. Ago. It was, everybody had a job. Yeah. And uh, we never imagined it would be this big. Yeah. We really didn't. I mean, we hoped and prayed. Yeah. But it, 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 it did. It did work. So the theme of our stewardship campaign this year is engage in generosity. What does that phrase mean to you? Money obviously is part of the generosity, but I think giving yourself and getting involved is much more, is as important, not more important, as important. We have to keep the church going, but we have to participate. We have to be engaged. We have to get busy with outreach. We just need to keep going. And, and there's no, Stones in the way. We can just do anything. No boulders. This is why Judy's in charge in our house. No. <laughs> She's the articulate one. No. Uh. I'm stumbling, but no, I, you're uh, doing fine. You're doing fine. If you're saying it. That's the way it is. It's so important. Yeah. yeah. It's very important to us. We come some way or other every Sunday. Um, and uh, today's world, it would be easy to skip it. You wouldn't have to come to Sunday. Very easy. No one's taking attendance, right? Nobody's no. taking attendance, and there's only you know what, 30 or 40 of us on the 8 o'clock. Uh, don't know how many show up for the 
with a 10 o'clock online, but um, it's important in today's world. That's been a big part. I'm, I'm so amazed my sister has watched these yeah. things and gotten involved I'm from Pennsylvania, and we brought her a picture of her dog. And it's not just involved. I mean, she's always saying things yeah. about our trip, yeah. you know, <laughs> 2,500 and miles this away. this is a, like, a gal who was not a spiritual person. Right. She's beginning to so place. So I credit the videos. Mm -hmm. that, that's a good part. Yeah, this, this, this COVID time has given us license to do some new things, and, and one of them is what we're doing right now. The, the video messages and the online worship are, are, are sort of foundational to who we have become, but they didn't exist in January. What, so that kind of takes me into the, the next question, which is how has the church helped you through this time of COVID uncertainty? I've been helped personally because I have a, a list of pastoral care telephone calls to make, and it helps me as much as I hope I'm helping the ones I talk to. Mm -hmm. And that's been not just telephone calls, but emails and greeting cards over the emails. Um, and, and to have the videos is a really strong contact. To the, the, the everyday morning ones, the Wednesday night ones, it, it's a big help. It keeps you connected. <laughs> Nodding and smiling, I like that. <laughs> a wise husband. Right, happy house. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that you you pledge, and what would you like others to know about stewardship? Let me tell you, uh, the first, uh, God, it must be 18 years ago, maybe, the first time we um, had a collection uh, I'll not forget. I, I took up the collection. It was a little basket, if I remember right. People put money in here? I was astounded. Now what do we do with it? Well, we give it to Christ Church. Remember, right. right? right. <clears throat> now, uh, it, it, it's it's different. Um, many of us have this automated. Uh, I do. I, I don't even think about it. I haven't for 18 or 20 years. It just happens. And uh, we, you know, we adjust it as times come and go and all. Uh, but I, I think that the t today's technologies allow us to do that, but you don't have the same personal feeling quite as, as if you're putting money in the basket. I mean, I, I, uh, you probably would never put in the amount of money we put in the, <laughs> online in a basket, but uh, mm. so there's an advantage to having it done online. But I, I think that um, people don't appreciate it costs money to run a parish real money, substantial money. And you should know, you'll know that uh, as well as anybody. Yes. Uh, and I think it's, it's just incumbent on us to ask ourselves and our friends to contribute as much as they can. Good. It, you just have to support every facet of the church yeah. activities. Not everything. just showing up. Yeah. Yes. Although, if you show up, we'll love you just as much, mm -hmm. but get involved. Do some good. Do the things that you're taught. Take it out to other people. When we, uh, you were probably on the board of, of uh, Galilee when, when I proposed that every board member needs to contribute financially to the camp. Don't care how much it is. And it's none of my business how much you contribute. If it's a dollar a year, you've met the requirement. Um, I, I, I think People need to be able to contribute what they can afford to and want to. But if that comes in the form of time and doing something, if you can't afford real money, then give what you can. Time or money. Or talent. We, we use those mm -hmm. and we're getting away from that term, but I think mm -hmm. it's very important anyhow. Effort, engagement, encouragement. It's just all part of the love. Sounds to me like that's... <laughs> That's the perfect segue to wrap this up. Get engaged. Be part of it. I want to thank you so much for being willing to come out and, and have this conversation. Um, and thank you for listening and for being willing to engage with us in generosity. May God bless you. God love you. We'll see you tomorrow morning.